We just keep coming. Here's another three ramen. Uh, the first up, we're gonna try uh, Hyobanya Shuka Ramen Soba Soy. Uh, it's another soy flavored broth. Um, and this one, it says soba, so maybe the noodles will be bigger? We'll see. All right, here we go. Um, the noodles are thin. Kind of wish they were thicker, but they're okay. The actual flavor is very clean. I like that. Fill it with some soy sauce, Robin. It, feels, it tastes a little muddy sometimes, but this tastes very clean and like very simple and um, not too, not too much. Sometimes they're a little too salty. Yeah, even the broth has a very nice, it's like a subtle soy, which I like. Um, this is something I could, you know, I can keep enjoying the broth and it doesn't get overpowering. Sure, I wish the noodles were a little more dense, but overall, the broth is pretty good. Not much to see here. It's just kind of brown soup and noodles, no real vegetables or anything. A lot of these, they just kind of give you a seasoning packet and inside there's little flakes of vegetables, but that's barely anything overall pretty good i'm not usually a soy sauce uh soy sauce uh, ramen guy but this is actually pretty good noise more ramen more power here is the second one this is uh daikoku ken miso ramen so another miso broth daikoku shokuhin kogyo was founded in 1962 so they've been making it for a while let's see how it is all right here we go This is definitely one of the stronger miso ramens I've tasted in a good way. Um, it's got that kind of funky savoriness that I love about miso. Um, it's a very concentrated flavor, which I really like. Definitely is not shy to be like, hey, bam, this is miso. It's savory, it's it's a little funky, it's great. Here's how it looks. Uh, I think just very typical ramen, it's good chew. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty solid bowl. Yep, it's got that nice meaty, savory taste. And it's not even meat, but it's, you know, umami. It's got the power of umami. Overall, good bowl. Finally, here's a cup noodle brand chili tomato. That sounds actually very interesting. Uh, I don't think I've ever had a tomato ramen. And the fact that it's chili tomato is doubly interesting. So let's try it out. After having a stove top ramen for a while, it's going to be interesting going back to cup ramen for these videos. But, um,. Let's try it out. There's something comforting about cup noodles, um, like super soft, like almost like eggy noodles. In terms of flavor, I might need to try the broth. It's not bad. Um, it has a slight tomato flavor. I almost taste more chili than tomato. I kind of wish it, they'd gone a little creamier, maybe. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna go tomato ramen, which is such a weird concept anyway go for it, you know? Um, as this is, it's not bad. Here's a look at the cup itself. You see actually they've got a good number of vegetables in there. Um, some corn and other assorted veggies, some little lettuce or whatever. With all that said though, I'd take this any day over like the boring chicken ramen. Like this is pretty all right. It's just kind of like a spicy ramen with like a hint of tomato. It's not bad. And that was three ramen. See ya.